There is a possibility that the Devin vs. Dennis match could end in a way that is absolutely horrifying. It may go down as the ugliest match in history. Devin has recently given us an update as to how he sees the match going, and it sounds like Devin is pretty nervous going into this match because of the unknowns in regards to Dennis's endurance and his power. I, I just can never take much away from what I see because every time I watch him, mm -hmm. it looks like he's never trying. It looks like he's never trying. He looks like he never gets out of second gear. You know, he never gets out of second gear. Maybe sometimes he gets into third gear. On this channel, I've covered plenty of Dennis's practice pulls, and we do see a trend of him losing his wrist and struggling to finish matches. But one of Devin's points here is that we don't really know how hard Dennis is trying in practice. It is possible that Dennis is trying his hardest, and it just looks like he isn't trying because he has a very calm demeanor. But it's also possible that Devin's suspicions are correct. It's possible that Dennis doesn't actually try very hard in practice. And as soon as Dennis gets on the table in a few days, he's going to be a totally different person. But it doesn't stop there. Devin has another concern about Dennis. Devin says that even if he beats Dennis, Dennis might come back stronger and stronger every single round after that. Dennis is not only known for having very good endurance within a round, but something that is especially notable with Dennis is his ability to recover in between rounds. Even if Dennis does gas out during a round, he gets back to near 100% very quickly especially for someone of his size with his amount of musculature. And this is the area that Devin really seems to be more nervous about than anything else. And I think this is probably because of the potential for this match to turn into a very ugly match. Ingen Terzi has talked about how Devin may be in pretty good shape if he is able to take Dennis's wrist without losing his own. However, if both Devin and Dennis lose their wrist center table, Devin might be in trouble. And this is where Dennis's endurance comes into play. Devin's elbow flexor and ulnar radiation may hold up long enough for Devin to climb up over the top of Dennis and protect his wrist flexion for a round or two. But if Devin's fear comes to fruition, and Dennis gets stronger every single round, this may not last forever. Devin's hand height may start to dump forward over rounds, giving Dennis access to his wrist flexion. From here, Devin's entire strategy may go out the window. I think Devin is plenty strong enough to pin Dennis with a press if he is in a really strong position. But if Devin gets into a scenario where his wrist is taken and he can't get it back, Devin will have to figure out how to finish this match with a flop press. We did see him experimenting with this a bit against Dave Chafee, but I don't know if he can do it against Dennis. On the other hand, Dennis likely is strong enough to finish this match in a flop press if he needs to. If both guys lose their wrist and it turns into a super ugly fight, this very well may benefit Dennis. Dennis is likely the generally stronger human being, so the more that technique goes out the window and it just becomes about unorthodox raw power, the match will begin to shift in his favor. Devin is known for having the best endurance in the world, but part of what makes Devin so good at endurance is his ability to find a higher efficiency than his opponent. But Devin's efficiency hinges on his strategy of never holding on and climbing into a position with higher leverage. If Dennis's endurance can remove Devin's ability to do this, we might see a double king's move that just keeps going for hours and hours. There is a distinct possibility that Devin is unable to get through Dennis's king's move, but Dennis is also unable to get through Devin's king's move. There is a chance that this match fizzles out into a double king's move, both guys refuse to give up, and the pay-per-view just never ends.